that trip did a number. It did. Uh, I can't tell if I'm sick or not or just something. It was a very long weekend. And you can see my eyes are droopy. Everything is droopy. But yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Hope everything's going well, even though 9, 7, 10. Hey, I know it's not the case, but hey, got to keep on thriving. Got to keep on striving. Got to keep on living. And I know it's been a few weeks, naturally. Uh, we'll dive into why. <clears throat> I just haven't posted. But yeah, man, chest is tight. Yeah, it's it's been a wild one. It's been a wild one. And then we got a, <clears throat> a new patch if i can grab it that'd be great let's see let's hope and pray once again hopefully you'll see it i absolutely love patches now they're my absolute favorite thing to do to collect patches you'll see them you've probably seen it in the and then the b-roll type of video that i just set up but yeah malta we went out to malta um spur of the moment decision very fast paced to kind of give you context i was supposed to go to atlanta and throughout that time frame, um, I, I was so excited, so excited to go back to the States, so excited just to be back there just for a few days, not even a week or anything. It was literally four days and I had everything prepped. It was for one of my buddies graduation and it was something that, you know, I was looking forward to ever since the beginning of the year. Even last year we were talking about it. I literally went to go get my blues changed, my blues, uh, you know, adjusted, <clears throat> get everything done. And, you know, everything's on the road. Everything's good. We have everything that we need. Uh, wake up at a good time. We got to the airport at a great time. Uh, we're driving up there. Nothing could, you know, possibly go wrong. And right when I got to the mid-stay parking terminal, I knew right away. I was like, fuck. Left my passport. Keep in mind. I'm three hours away from the house. So you can clearly tell the frustration already set when I realized there's not a damn thing I can do. <clears throat> it was it was really frustrating. And I had to let my friend know and everything. And it was, it was hard because it was literally like he was commissioning. I was supposed to give him his first salute and I wasn't there. Wasn't proud of it. I was not proud of it. I was more or less disappointed in myself because at that time and even throughout these past few days the discipline has not been there it is not it has not been to what i want it to be and that stems from a lot of things and i know exactly what they stem from and we're working on them and at the end of the day i know it's it's going to be just something that i'll go through and something that i'll get better at and i'll learn and then you know next thing you know i can help out other people with but um you know first and foremost the schedule right so my regular day-to-day -day schedule is jam-packed and it's because of the military right because it's a regular nine to five and then you get off and then i have sales and throughout that time it's just there's something in me i guess that's you know that subconscious that is trying to i guess pull um just some sort of like habits and like at the end of the day to where like okay you did all this stuff yeah, at least you need to give me something. Whether it's I'm eating a lot of food, I catch myself doing that now where I binge eat so much food at night um, after I do all my shit. And then doom scrolling till like one in the morning uh, because I'm, I'm trying to crave for some sort of satisfaction because I, you know, my entire schedule is kind of very strict. <clears throat> and it's stuff like that. Those are small things because it turns into a snowball. You guys know it. You guys know it. every time that you have something that you're working on and um if you don't keep the momentum going one wrong move will turn into two wrong moves three wrong moves four and ultimately for my example it turned into the whole porn situation so i ended up folding that was a very rough time that sucked right because throughout and that was just recently right so it was kind of like that feeling of Man, you're just letting yourself go. Like you're, you're driving yourself through a fucking wall and you can't go past that wall. And you have all these things that you're doing, but <clears throat> you, you, for some reason, what, you can't tell your brain to go to the fuck to bed. Like once you finish your job, once you do your work, once you do your sales thing, you, you mean to tell me you can't. So it's stuff like that that I'm instilling, new habits that I'm instilling in regards to the mindset aspect of it. Um, there's this book 
It is called Three Magic Words. Um, it is definitely a great book, and I recommend you read it. I'm currently going through it right now, and it's just everything in regards to your subconscious, trying to tap into uh, the past, tap into those old habits that you might have had in the past, or even when you were like a little kid, uh, seeing what stemmed from that and seeing, okay, you understand what it is now. Anytime you get some sort of relapse or some sort of feeling or urge, you can easily think back to where it initiated and be like, okay, this is why this started. Are we gonna let this be another case scenario where we're gonna do it again and again and again? So stuff like that. But to connect this with everything, um, on the way back from the three hour drive, uh, just with brisk defeat, I guess you could say, just absolutely pissed off. I, I knew in my mind, I was like, you did this to yourself because if you would have prepared more, if you would have, you know, cause I had everything organized two days before, right? But I felt like everything was still good and I was still doing this. And I, I stood up late, you know, for training on sales. Literally the night before I was supposed to leave, I stood up to like 12, just doing some sort of training, just doing mock calls, stuff like that to practice. And on the way back, I, I told myself, I was like, you did this to yourself. This is your fault at the end of the day. And then the whole, you know, porn situation folding on that. was like, that is another reason why you seem to, you know, not be able to take care of yourself, hold yourself to a higher standard. So there's definitely a lot of stuff that stemmed from that. But um, we ended up, you know, like, where did Malta come out of? Uh, one of uh, my mentors, more or less from the sales group, he obviously is aware that i do videography photography and i've been telling him i was like hey i would love to tag with you guys and uh capture some videography for you so that's exactly what happened originally around the time frame that i was supposed to go to atlanta um those you know my mentor was heading out to a summit right so they were all heading out to a summit and everything and um you know they were like we would love to have you and I would, I said a million things. That three hour drive back home was a rough one because I was thinking, I was like, you can either do this, you can either bitch and moan and know that you can't go to Atlanta because you're not spending another thousand dollars just to reschedule and you can bitch and moan the rest of the weekend and not really get anything out of it. Or you could just send it and go to, you know, Malta and just go over there. You have an opportunity. Why aren't you taking it? So I decided to screw it. I literally like bought the nearest ticket, wasn't that expensive, bought the nearest hostel or hotel, wasn't that expensive, and then just took off. Didn't think twice, I just left. Uh, that time I had my passport. It's fucking unreal. Anyway, um, I think it all happened for a reason, to be fair. It did, because ever since I was little, I always, you know with for videography and photography when I started getting into it I always had this vision I was like I want to travel the world I want to record videography for people I want to do travel based videos and it's crazy how that works thoughts plus conviction equals uh, reality or whatever the case may be but that's exactly what happened right I started getting opportunities you know that I didn't least expect and sometimes you really want something so bad and you only get it years later <laughs> and you're like how why why is this happening to me years later so always remember it in my mind it's something i can leave for you guys it's just everything happens for a reason understand that whatever actions you take is going to be a time stamp for something later on in the future <coughs> and aside from that just keep on striving keep on living keep on thriving we are going to get back to our old ways. We're going to absolutely get back to it. Um, we're not gonna let this shit beat us. We're not gonna let you know the whole porn situation beat us. We're not gonna let any of this beat us. I truly believe that this will be solved. And I'll be able to finally talk about it again to where I was three months down of not doing it, four months down, and then now I cracked and then you know on the way back to come up, right? If I did it once, I could do it again. So that's how I see it. So. We're gonna keep on striving and we know what's gonna come out of that. Because those time frames that I had when I wasn't so caught up on it, I learned so much. And I saw so many beautiful visions of what life can be. And I truly believed in myself more than anything at that time. 
and it really speed ramped everything now i'm in a in a point where it's an abusive sort of mindset uh, my mind's foggy get the fuck out of it basically this is what we're doing this is why i'm recording because i didn't feel like recording today but i knew i had something to say and i knew wednesday is another day for somebody to watch this video and see the road that mendoza's taken but aside from that Man, I really never want to close these off, but I hope you have a good one. I don't want to wait 10 minutes plus for this thing to render, right? So, hope you have a good one. From top of the world, boundaries still don't exist. The bottom of the depths where life still lives. Do you dare to dream? As a matter of fact, do you dare to take the next step? See y'all later.